guys, MB here from androgchance.com and in today's video I will share my MLB baseball betting mall projections. Uh, so this is my spreadsheet and you can see my win, my projected winning percentages, my projected odds and we will try to find uh, some, good, uh, some good bets for today. Uh, currently I'm sitting at 17.55 uh, units of profit. Uh, as you see, full game money lines are doing a little bit worse than first five innings. First five innings are doing uh, great this season. But as I said, I hope we will have a profitable season uh, this uh, uh, in this year as well. Okay, so let's go to today's projections and uh, let's check if we have some good uh, qualified bets. So Yankees against Cincinnati, Severino against uh, Hunter Green, two right-handed pitchers. And based on my projections, uh, Yankees will have better chance to win this game. But Pinnacle still didn't have the odds, so I will leave this. But I checked other uh, bookmakers, and I think we will have similar odds. Uh, I'm looking for a little bit bigger difference between my projections and bookmakers' projections. Uh, so I think this will not be a qualified bet. Today I will not be around, uh, usually on weekends, uh, I'm uh, out with my family, with my friends, with my daughter. So this is how I set uh, this uh, now. And uh, I, I won't make any projections. I won't make any bets later anymore. And, and some people ask me also why I'm sharing the spreadsheet. I was thinking about uh, sharing peaks and so on. But uh, I remember when I started with my website in 2015, 2016, uh, I didn't know how to share my way of betting because I didn't want to sell peaks uh, or share just peaks because I know that this never helped uh, uh, anyone in the long run. But there was a, one YouTube channel. I don't remember uh, what was the name and I think they, they are not active anymore, but uh, they were sharing uh, such projections in the spreadsheet. And this is something that was really impressive. And this is something uh, I also wanted to do. So I simply started doing what I really like and what I think most betters uh, can help because once this is most important information, probabilities, right? So if you have probabilities, you can compare with your own bookmaker odds and then you can find value make smarter bets because at the end of the day if we cannot explain uh, our results or our projections or our analysis or our selections uh, with math with numbers then it is just usually guessing or luck okay uh, so that that was very impressive uh, so I was impressed by that uh, YouTube channel I don't remember what was their name but uh, I knew that I want to share this. But then later I, I received comments uh, why I'm sharing these numbers. Uh, people love stories, people love news. But I think that anyone can read news on Google, but not all people can actually project uh, or build sports betting model, uh, which is crucial for the long-term success. Because I believe if you bet for 20 years, uh, you cannot uh, read news and watch games and uh, watching games is unhealthy anyway. Uh, but you cannot just guess, right, and have positive results in the long run. So you you need to have some system, okay? You need to have w one well-defined system. Uh, even it, if it's not working, uh, at least you can track it, you can adjust it, you can modify it, you can improve it. Uh, you can only improve something that you track and you know what you're doing. And I think this is those are the numbers, okay? Detroit Washington wins against Gray. My numbers and bookmakers numbers are basically the same. So I will stay away. I, we, we can check also first five innings. So as you see, those are my uh, qualified bets. But let's uh, comment uh, the, uh, the rest of the games. Chicago Cups, Philadelphia. Uh, I will stay away from this game, of course. My Those are my projected numbers. Those are bookmakers numbers. Uh, there is maybe small value with... Uh, uh, with uh, with Chicago Cubs, but not not good enough. Okay, Seattle Atlanta. I will stay away from this game. Uh, Atlanta. They have a pitcher uh, that is not qualified. Uh, not enough innings pitched this season. Uh, Arizona. Just a second. Arizona against Pittsburgh. Kelly against Contreras. Uh, based on my projections, there is small value with Arizona in the in the full game. But if we check first five innings. There is value with Arizona, first five innings. So this is my first qualified bet, Arizona first five innings at 1.5 unit, okay? Because I give them 62.89% of chance in first five innings and bookmakers have 
a little bit bigger odds. So those are my decimal odds, bookmakers odds. Um, uh, and uh, there is enough discrepancy for me to take a bet. Okay. Then we have Baltimore, Toronto. Yesterday I had Baltimore. They were under the day. They beat Toronto. But in today's game, I think we have uh, a value with Toronto. First five innings, Kevin Gaussman, better pitcher than Kramer. Uh, and I, I took them at 1.25. At the odds, 1.51. This is... Uh, I have here 1.50, 1.51. This is minus uh, 196. Okay. Uh, then we have Balt uh, Then we have Cleveland, uh, New York Mets. I will stay away from this game. I saw on uh, official website on, of MLB that uh, uh, Mets pitchers will be decided later. So Scherzer and Verlander. But I will stay from those these uh, two double headers. Um, as you see, those are my projections. But as I said, I will stay away. Milwaukee, Tampa Bay Rays. Based on my projections, uh, Jalen Biggs, left-handed pitcher, will have better chance to uh, than Peralta in today's game. And based on my projections, Tampa Bay Rays is one unit qualified bet. So I'm taking Tampa Bay Rays at 1.72, okay? Then we have Oakland against Houston. I had Oakland yesterday plus 1.5. Uh, so when I have huge underdogs, I uh, take plus run lines. Uh, and in this game, uh, this is not qualified. My numbers and bookmakers numbers are basically the same this is the most impressive thing uh, I, I, with this betting mall because uh when we have very low odds and uh, the the betting mall uh, calculates very close odds to this odds. so this is pretty good okay so uh, i will stay away uh, kansas city white Sox. i will stay away uh i have average leak average number here because uh, the pitcher isn't qualified not enough inning pitched so far uh, Dodgers, St. Louis, uh, Kershaw, again, Flaherty, my numbers and bookmakers' numbers are very similar. Uh, I give maybe a little bit less, maybe small value with St. Louis, but not good enough. St. Louis is playing better right now. Uh, and then we have Colorado, Texas, Seabold, Hine. Uh, I give 71% of chance to Texas, and this is qualified bet. So Texas at 1.25 units uh, at the odds 1.51. Uh, okay. So I have a simple unit system. So this is adjusted Kelly criterion, which calculates my unit size. Uh, so, but then I round it uh, to one, 125, 1 1.5, 175, and two. Two is maximum bet, no matter what number is here. Okay, so uh, this is 1.41 and I round it down to 125. Okay, and, and I always bet one unit, it, anything which is between one and 125. Okay, uh, and then we have Miami, San Francisco, Two left-handed pitchers. Uh, my projected odds on San Francisco minus 155. Bookmakers minus 125. There is small value with San Francisco. And uh, this is one unit. This is probably the trickiest play because uh, San Francisco has uh, three players that are still, let's say, young or don't have a lot of at-bats. But still based on that projections, there is small value. And then we have three games with not enough value. Minnesota Angels. Uh, those are my projected odds, bookmakers odds, as you see, maybe small value with Angels, Boston, San Diego, uh, maybe small value with Boston. I had Boston yesterday uh, in first five innings. They beat San Diego. They were uh, underdog, I think, yes. Uh, but today uh, they are underdog as well. Maybe small value with Boston, but I will stay away from this game. And then th this is the second game between Cleveland and New York, Man Yank New York Mets, okay? Uh, okay, that's it for me today. Uh, thank you for watching. I wish you all the success in sports betting. I wish you uh, all the success today with your bets. Uh, if you want to learn how I bet, uh, please visit underdogchannels.com and uh, see you next time.